Host mocks Ted Cruz for being a Trump's puppet. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Watch this clip. I'll come back with some more. The central thought, one vote, one seat, one judge, can make a big difference. So can one voice speaking truth to power, especially when it resonates like your own. Will you be that voice? Will you say playing nice with the Proud Boys is wrong? Well, listen, I've condemned the Proud Boys long ago. I think white supremacists, Klansmen, Nazis are ignorant, bigoted morons. Um, I also think that, that, that the American people care about the Constitution and Bill of Rights. They care about the Supreme Court. It was a big reason the president was elected. Mm -hmm. It was a big reason we have a Republican majority. And, and I think this vacancy on the court, it's the reason I wrote this book that was released just this week, because it focuses on the, the rights that, 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 that are precious to so many of us, free speech, religious liberty, right. the Second Amendment, and, and, and how, how all of them re really hang in the balance at the court. And I think that issue matters enormously. And, and, and for me, it's the most compelling issue. Absolutely. Now, I will exercise my right uh, and say, was the president wrong to go soft on the Proud Boys in the debate last night? Oh, look, I, I, I wish he had been much clearer in his denunciation. I was glad today that he, he walked that back. And, no, and, he didn't. And he, I, look, I'm, I'm glad that he sought to walk it back. I'm glad his campaign sought to walk it back. But, but let me be clear also, the, the press is completely hypocritical on this issue. Really? Um, the, 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 the press is partisan in this regard. So 10 years ago, mm -hmm. 2010, Joe Biden gave a eulogy for Robert Byrd, who was mm -hmm. a grand cyclops right. of the KKK. Yeah. That's 10 years ago. You're really going to go with that? Oh, yeah. You I know you're a master it. debater, and uh, uh, Professor Dershowitz tells me that, you were the that, star, that, smartest student he ever had at Harvard Law. You're going to go with that weak-ass argument here? Byrd, who had a complete enlightenment about how hate was wrong, who changed his life, who spoke about it? Chris, who Chris have you his ever ways? eulogized a Klansman? I You're haven't. Gonna, or I'll, I'll give you another listen, example. No, no, no. Hold on. Right? That's, hold, your hold, hold on. That's your example. That's your example. You're going to no, use no, that. No, I'll give you another one. Gonna, well, I, I give you a on. lot of examples. But hold on, because I don't want you to run away from the premise, Senator. I'm not you, but I'm not a fool either. He did it in Charlottesville. He did it with David Duke, the old Ted Cruz, who he called Lion Ted when he wasn't insulting your wife and your father. Tweeted, "Hey, you're better than this, Mr. President." What happened to that, Ted? I don't know if he changed or did just you change for some reason, <laughs> Senator. Chris, you know, you know I'm, I'm glad you, 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 you take tips uh, on, on insults from, from, from other folks. Really? Look, Am I insulting oh, you, sir? Oh, yeah. How oh, so? oh, yeah, you are. And, you, and, so? and you're enjoying it. That's, that's I am fine. not enjoying you know, it you know, at all. Chris, I'm not enjoying Chris, anything about time, this except having an opportunity for you to say the right thing at the right time. Chris, there was a time when CNN actually cared about being journalistic and talking about oh. facts. D Donald Trump broke you guys. I mean, you're just, really? your entire show, your entire network mm -hmm. now is just how much you hate Trump. So, I mean, Ted Cruz is obviously a Trump puppet. Did y'all not remember when I posted that video um, when Ted Cruz is running for president in 2016? Literally, um, Donald Trump literally sent out the tweet with both his wife on one side and Ted Cruz's wife on the other side saying Ted Cruz's wife is ugly fugly baby ugly and fugly okay I mean the woman ain't extremely attractive but I don't think she's ugly he just used a bad picture and yet this man Ted Cruz is still defending Trump is still making calls you know for him and working for him and defending the man when obviously you know He's obviously Trump's puppet and he's selling his soul. And I wonder what his wife thinks about the whole situation. I like Trump basically call him, oh, he's Canadian. He's not even an American citizen and so on and so forth. So how the hell do you not have a backbone to defend a man? Like, do you not do you not have a stick down there? You must have, you know, he must then he, he must be a woman or something, because like if it was me, it would be a whole different story. Like, I'm not about to support a man that ridiculed my wife and that ridiculed me on Twitter for the masses to see, for 90 million people to see. That's just crazy. That's insane. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yay!